Good afternoon, it's a wet, miserable 12th of November afternoon and I'm outside uh, Super Value and uh, Medicare etc down in uh, King Square, you might recognise it. Uh, anyway, I came down this morning to, um, to post a package in the post office and I uh, asked the, the lady uh, what I might have to pay and she replied uh, by asking me what was in the parcel and I, I replied that I honestly didn't know. I could have uh, politely asked what business it was of hers uh, or else I could have possibly even told lies. Um, now, I'm not blaming the, the lady counter staff, but she uh, she couldn't take my parcel until I was able to tell her what was inside that parcel. And she uh, refused to take the, my money and she refused to take the parcel. And this is now a post office policy. Uh, so you need to beware if you are uh, thinking about posting a parcel for a friend or anything this Christmas. Uh, you need to know exactly what's in the parcel. Um, this little conversation took place in front of a queue of people uh, and she was clearly embarrassed by this and I was certainly embarrassed because I was uh, being labelled as uh, some sort of uh, persona non grata and I was also uh, being potentially labelled a, a terrorist. Uh, I know that my experience over here at, uh, at uh, outside Super Value, uh, it's only a small thing but it did irritate me uh, and I contacted the post office complaints desk and spoke my mind to a very nice lady called Donna uh, and uh, I told her that uh, I, I wanted my frustration and my complaint uh, passed further on up. Now whether it is or not is a, a different matter but I also contacted uh, <laughs> Frank Mitchell on New 105 and um, Frank told me that he would have gone into the post office uh, or out of the post office and spoke to uh, an imaginary friend or wife and then he would have come back in and made up a list of uh, box contents and he also thought that asking someone what was in their parcel was ridiculous. Now the lady behind the counter, I, I since went back and apologised, I was a, a, a wee bit cross and she told me that this is a, a, UK, a, a, a demand made by UK Aviation uh, that uh, we, they know um, and they forward what is actually in parcels. But here we have a situation where the paying public are forced to either tell lies or being compliant to some patronising government inspired answer to terrorism and it's nonsense. And clearly the government uh, suit, some government or aviation suit in an office has too much time on their hands and we all suffer the consequences this Christmas. It's a silly ill thought out policy. Um, that once again dictates and triumphs over common sense. Uh, so there's my little gripe for, t for today. Uh, Merry Christmas one and all.